Ibigin pa pa rin po natin yung Tagi Style. Ito na sila, ano? We the North Boys. Oo nga eh. We the North Boys! Hey! Alright, so... Um... We're gonna try to give you the most, um... It's uh, our best performance. Yeah, our be uh, yeah, yeah, basically our best. it's that it. Uh, it. Of course, our best and enjoy, nakaka enjoy na performance. It's Mineski versus Wasti. And here we go. Gaming Fear, which is called Baby Boy. First blood has been called. And we do see here that Sis coming in from the stairs area gets taken down by Captain Hannibal. And now it's full control for the side of Mineski as there is four members on that side. But Wasdi, four members of their own, gonna try to go in for the retake as the smoke disperses. And will Wasdi be able to do so? We'll have to see what happens. Headshot there by Gaming Fury. He is just on a rampage right now. He gets himself the triple. He looks for more. Gets the 4K. Will he get the ace? Dude. There is still a sleepy head here, or gets him all rather. Sleepy head. Gaming Fury. Oh! He's going to get himself wow! an ace. Gaming Fury, five kills. And as what I've said, save the best for last. Last. There we go. Gaming Fury is on fire. Is this Gaming Fury the uh, the American? He is. He is. Uh, oh, he, oh wait, we'll we'll get a confirmation there, guys. All right, here we go. And game two, round two, maybe. Jellophobia here, gonna get himself out. Uh, the scout in mid area, but the members of <coughs> sorry Mineski are already positioning themselves in B apps. Yes, exactly. Valencia. Yes, Valencia. Let's think? see. Dispenser versus Valencia. Who's going to win? Valencia throw out this Molotov. Free fire. Oh, this kills one. Valencia kills one as well. A double headshot killing Baby Boy and Dispenser dis di just dispensing his head. And now Captain Hannibal, the El Capitan of Mineski. Let's see what will happen. Valencia with low HP, with 5 HP. 2 versus 5 situation. Captain Hannibal with 85 and this Dubsa with 60. What was that? Oh, Dubsa coming from behind. Killing Stiz now, and one more, but Berserk killing dubstep. I know Berserk is the American guy. Ah, I see Berserk. Yes. A question, what was that coming in from Stiz? He I just, don't know. He, he should have seen. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he, have this, he have his own. Jellophobia is the American. Uh, I mean, Gaming Fury is the American. Wow. Dude, uh, um, wait, wait. That guy, Gaming Fury, is the... His team, Date, <laughs> is Liquid 8. Liquid 8? Yes, Liquid 8. Uh, American team, N8 team. So that's the team Liquid with the... Liquid 8. With the horse yes. icon. Wow, yes. okay. Yes, yes. Liquid 8. Just, dude, I, I don't know. That's legit. Actually, um, Nagcast ako last year or this year. <laughs> Last year. Whoa, headshot coming in from Jellophobia. Dude, on the Spencer through the smoke. The Onion Brothers. Dude, Wazdi oh is God. waking up right now. I don't know what is happening to Wazdi right now. They're really on fire. Uh, back to what I'm saying. Actually, um, last year or this year in February, I was in the Onion. And yun, yun, ito yung ano nila, ito yung lineup nila with, with the American guy. Dude, Jellophobia with a triple. Dude, they're really on fire. Lo the La Union brothers are doing it. As you can see, look at the faces of Mineski. They are so sad. Yeah, I guess they're just contemplating on what they can do against this aggression yeah. coming in from WASD. I don't know if it's like, um, dude, lucky shot from Jellophobia yeah. going into smoke headshot onto, I believe that was Dispenser. But that made, or uh, I think that shook Minasi quite a bit because they set up that smoke for themselves to actually push onto Catwalk and having it being used by Waz D might not have been, you know, the best for their uh, mentality there. Throws out the Molotov, will not flambe anyone or, you know, just roast anyone There we down. go. Berserk kills baby boy right there. And here comes the members of Minasi onto bombsite A. They force it themselves as Berserk is the one man defending this Ooh, side. Ooh, of the power of his up. Dubstep goes down Bizzer, killing Dubstep now. One versus four situation. Dispenser kills one with a wreck now, but Valencia from the side with a FAMAS killing Dispenser as well. 4 0 now is the score. As you can see, the momentum of Wasdi is now very high for them. Damn, Fury Damn. is on a rampage as well as Berserk. Dude, let's see these stats, please. Stats is six kills and two deaths for Fury. And meanwhile, Dubstep with three frags and four deaths. Four, yeah, Dubsteps. And thank you very much for the vape. Dubstep. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Thank you very better, much. Bro. Better vape than smoke. A uh, big shout out to Jiro. What's up, cuz? Oh, and he ooh, misses the flick sleepy there. Sleepy head. The Jellophobia. Misses the shot powered by Harwin. Ooh! Maybe. It smoked out. He looks to look. Sees it. Ooh, sees the bunny, but misses the shot again. Sleepy head! No, it, it just didn't hit through the wall. Yeah. It was exposed already. Sleepy head is. gets him off. Yeah. I'm gonna call it Gets Off for now on. As you can see, oh, Hannibal getting roasted 19 HP left coming from him. Check out with Gets Off trying to kill someone there. And. Oh, nice kill there by Jellophobia. Killing Dubstep. Here we go. Jellophobia trying to kill one more. Their opponent's like a buck right now. And Mineski are in some sort of disarray here. They're stuck in mid, but they can rotate onto a uh, connector to possibly possibly push Ooh, dude, this wow. A site. That's what they do right now. And the members, are there's going to be Gaming Fury here. He is on Palace. This is a very uh, nice spot for him to be at because they're not checking that spot just yet. Oh, Spencer actually has vision of it, but Baby Boy kills Fury one. Is in a trade off also. He is waiting the, for the right time. If the Spencer sees him even just a bit, he will go down to this one. Oh, Gaming Fury sees the. <laughs> The grenade throw of Captain Hannibal now. One versus two. One of the best snipers here in the Philippines goes down. Valencia is out defusing the bomb. The score is 5 0. As you can see, Stiz is very happy. Hot, St hot damn. Yaz D is Dude. just playing on a whole different level right now. I know. It's, uh, it's because of the 144 hertz. <laughs> yeah, 144 hertz monitor what? is always good. Dude, 144 hertz GTX 970 video cards i7. Dude, come on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Of course, having best equipment is always good. All right, now. But well, we do see here that baby boy gonna push himself up onto Palace. And he might be just embraced by Fury and Berserk. You don't want to go against these guys right now because they are the top fraggers for the sign of WASD. All right, so here we go. Five, four AKs and a sniper for Team Mineski and WASD with one sniper and four rifles for them. One minute, five, six, seven, eight o'clock. Stiz is trying to wallbang someone there. One minute, 20 seconds. And now... Looks like Mineski have full control of this mid side. You see that the Spencer jumping in onto Sniper's Nest. Nobody uh, defending it whatsoever. Jellophobia has his uh, line, uh, scope lined up onto mid. Oh, but he doesn't see the Spencer has already, um, you know, sneaked his way in. He goes Ooh, for the read. The Spencer with the head of the scope there, but the Spencer, like I said, gets the headshot onto. Uh, Jellophobia there as Stiz goes down. There's the Molotov gonna push out Valencia. Here comes Mineski onto Bonsai B. Yes, there's someone right there behind him, but Sleepyhead or gets him off. Kills Gaming Fury now. One verse for situation, and I think this is the round that Mineski is waiting for. Yeah. They're not considered, uh, not, they're not, you know, just told as the best, uh, you know, one of the best teams in the Philippines for nothing. Yeah. They're showing, you know, their pedigree. Even if they're down, let's say, five rounds, they know that they can still come back from this if they yes. just keep, you know, cool heads in. And uh, Sleepyhead here or gets him off might Dude. be. Hunting or might get hunted down by exactly. the Berserk. It's not yet done. Five rounds is not enough for them to win this. Let's see. Ooh, in your face, but Berserk killing gets him all right there. But Captain Hannibal is right there just to give a backup for gets him all, but he's not gonna contest. But there's Mineski dubstep. Let's see. He does. <laughs> he's not showing himself at all. Yeah. He's like, okay. He's like, okay. What do you call that? Um, you know what who, happens? Who, with who can camouflage? Chameleon? Um, um, chameleon, he can yeah. come for just. <laughs> well, no, they can, they can, like, when you watch uh, comedy movies and then they're, like, running through a wax museum. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you just, like. Just yeah, pretend you just like a wax. Ex exactly, like yeah. a, a mannequin, and then you just. They just right. pass you. That's the same thing. Yes, I there. know. Now, Berserk trying to kill some in a flash also by Berserk. Let's see what will happen. But there's a, the Great Wall of Mineski. They Comes can in. puncture inside now, Stiz. With a Deagle here, gonna fi flash himself out. Uh, catches some people. Nice to re engage. Oh, Gets the headshot wow. there onto the Spencer, though. But it's not as he goes down. Yeah. And we do see that Gaming Fury or Fury gonna come outside from this CD spawn. Valencia making something happen out of Cypress Nest. And they get themselves simultaneous frag after frag after frag. And they actually retake this site yes, as exactly. a duo death squad. And there you go. Was the gaming getting themselves the sixth round in this. Uh, Against Mineski. Dude. 
This is unbelievable for me. Was the game from La Union? Wow! Very mm. nice team. Yeah, man. They're from the north. Yeah, from the north. Yeah. They're Starks. Northeron. They're Starks. Yeah, Starks. Are right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually um watch um Game of Thrones. Um, I'm already season one, episode three. Oh, so okay, I won't spoil you yet. Please, thank okay. you very much, dude. I'm yeah. not yet done with episode three. Yeah, it, it gets better and better. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but like to, I guess some people's disdain. I haven't watched the uh, last half of season five and the and the initial part of season six. Right. So I'm pretty behind have as you well. Wa have you watched Civil War already? Um. Yes, I have watched Civil War as well as I have also watched um, the uh, X -Men. yes X Men Apocalypse. Right. It's pretty good. Yeah, but if it's looking for Civil War, as there's Back gonna to be a Civil game. War right here <laughs> in know. Mirage. Three versus Inside. four now. Baby boy goes down. Captain Helbo with 21 HP level. Let's see what will happen. Two versus two now. Valencia and Stills is the only man left. Dub up kills one with a deagle. Now Valencia. They can hear him coming in from connectors, so Hannibal knows this. Valencia, he's focusing himself too much. He might actually get caught out here as he doesn't peek his right side oh. there and headshot by Hannibal onto Valencia. Now this bringing back some, uh, you know, some points for the side of Mineski here. And now let's see what will happen. Six to four point deficit in favor of Wasty Gaming. They're really on fire, as you can see. Yes. So again, guys, if you're just tuning in, you're watching, of course, the Mineski Pro Gaming League Season 8 Counter-Strike Global Offensive Rise from the Rest, brought to you by our official sponsors. GG Network TV, Gigabyte, ViewSonic, Mineski Infinity, Cyber Cafe Chain, Worldwide, and Secret Shop. Now, Wazdi with a very aggressive push here with the pistols. I mean, yeah, they're going to go on a save, but... Having this proactiveness might catch off, you know, uh, Mineski unawares and get themselves some free AKs or free rifles to save for themselves. Ooh! And Berserk there getting the tag on to Baby Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Steals him, the AK, and here comes Mineski from Connector. Now, Captain Hebo finally someone to go trying to Molotov that part of the map. Ooh, miss. Oh, no, 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 no. That was perfect, actually. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm sorry. No gaming fury coming from behind the dispensers right there, just beside you, and dispenser killing gaming fury from Liquid Eight and Wasdy, the and American now, boy. Yeah. Now Jellophobia is the one man left standing here for the side of Wasdy. I mean, yeah, you can't do anything with a P250, but maybe if someone pushes up through Palace, you can catch them off guard and then steal their weapons. You know, just save it for another day. We don't have to see though. Uh, as Mineski yeah. look to take this third point for themselves. Nicely done by them, but Wazdi still have a very commanding lead here. Though, of course, Mineski have at least dropped their economy uh, yes. down to, you know, around 2,000, 3,000. But with that one, it's gonna come back and Jellophobia. Yeah. Ooh, Jellophobia, the one who's more. using the white keyboard. Oh, he actually gets the kill onto dubstep. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, yeah. so, 10th round of the game, 6-3 in favor of Wasdi. Well, at least that's keeping the, you know, the economy. I need to ask you, how yeah, do you go pronounce Wasdi? Is, is it Wast or Wasdi? I prefer Wasdi, it sounds much more solid. Yeah, Wasdi. Yeah, or Wasdi. Wast. Wast. Yeah. Wast. I'm back again. I mean, that All kill right. onto dubstep was just, you know, to keep at least the uh, economy here of uh, Mineski in check. There's a counter need being thrown out by uh, Valencia. Valencia. Very look at nice the rotations name. coming in from Wasdi. They are like v v very jittery. Man. I know. I, I like this because like um, because there's so many teams right now in the Philippines that actually um, you know when they are on the terrorist side mm -hmm. they push in and then they actually fake with a lot of smokes and yeah. then it forces the over rotation here. But then you know when you when you resist jittery and you keep rotating from left and right without the smokes being seen, it just allows you to be pro proactive. But Game they're gonna roast the uh, Fury alive right now. He has been the thorn in the side of Mineski and they have taken him down, meaning that Mineski might have a better situation here to get this bomb side A. But hold that thought as Stiz is just going smouse now onto yeah. the members of Mineski here. Three members alive. Stiz. Here's gonna be Ooh. gets him off, getting caught gets out. Him off. Goes into down. the wall. But in the back, it's gonna be dubstep with the lurk. Gets the headshot Ooh. and he gets himself a double header. Dubstep triple kill. Look at that. Backstab wow. the 
a lurking dubstep. Yeah, you know. I know. <laughs> and he, you know, he was he, he was this. yeah he was killed. Yeah. But then he was like, I'm gonna have my revenge, and that was it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The definitely. MVP of that game, dubstep. Very nice. And in round 11, 6 4 in his favor of Wasty Gaming. And as you, as you can see, this is the momentum that Mineski is waiting for. 1 minute and 45 seconds left in the clock. Look four at this P250s one. for Wasty Gaming. And they're really on for the need to push. Gets him off. Gets him off. Goes down. And the players from Mineski just swarming all to be. And the members of Wasty counter swarming. Mineski right now as they try to defend Bombsite B, though, of course, there's only one yeah, AWB into the hands of Wazdi with the four P250s here, so that might not be the best of situations for the side of Wazdi to actually, you know, be aggressive and try to do something. Yes. They should just give Mineski this one, but... All right. Ooh, nice kill there by Baby Boy with a double kill. Get the kill on the dubstep, kill. though. Yeah. And Stiz is going to be the last man standing. So they get two kills, but of course, the bomb was planted by Mineski. And that's going to give them more uh, economy to work around. Right now. Look at that. They're stacking it up. Hannibal is on a 9,000 yeah. um, cash lead here against WASD. If you check out WASD, they are gasping for gold right yes. or for money right they now. They need moolahs. Definitely. Yeah. So this is going to hit. Ah, Catwalk. Baby boy. Okay. So I always like the Catwalk smoke because. Um, most CTs or in most cases, CTs will always have the first uh, vision or the first, you know, uh, peek onto that catwalk with an AWP, you know, making the terrorist side um, vulnerable. But yes. that immediate catwalk smoke, you know, at least blinds their vision right now. And that is what allowing Mineski to get into the side. But look at the sneaky beaky spot Game, coming in from Stiz. They don't see, see him right now. Ooh. Stiz misses the shot, didn't kill that guy. And now Fury, one versus five he situation. He needs to back off. He needs to save his gun. Definitely. Yeah. But Stiz there might have been on a much better uh, basis or a much better position. It, uh, yeah, it was just like, I didn't think that he would. Oh, he kills one, but dubstep. It was supposed to be a punish yeah. onto Mineski, <laughs> and for some reason the bomb planter pushes onto the smoke, and Stiz could not find him, you know, in time, and not get the counter on the on the plant there, as well as getting caught out himself. Mm -hmm. It was already like a full control situation for Stiz, but I guess the execute could have been much more refined. But could still, have been, yes. you know, Mineski have got it six to six. You have to give it to them. We're coming back into that, and WASD still very aggressive with them, yeah. uh, with how they play it out. Though, if they keep this uh, being over aggressive, it does become stale, and Mineski will be forced to like uh, think Game in their heads. Theory. It's gonna be always you guys trying to be aggressive to us, so we'll be aggressive to you. And this is what Mineski are doing right now mm -hmm. with the P90 onto Dubstep. He's just gonna be able to mow them down with that 50 ammo onto that item. As you can see, the smokes of Mineski are really outstanding. Is it? <laughs> Yeah, and gets him off. <laughs> yeah. Gonna be happy with that kill onto Jellophobia as he was the poor man for the side of Mineski. Seven, the bottom fragger. Granted, of course. Who misses the he, shot? He keeps gets getting him caught off. out. Misses the shot again, but Valencia, dude, sniper versus P250. Come on. Uh, here's, here's the P90 from Dubstep. He's all yeah. right. All right, so two versus four now in Stiz yeah. and Berserk. I believe Dubstep is like the. Uh, all right, he, if he's gonna like lose this AWP, it's gonna be a hilarious. Yeah, exactly. But all right, back to what I was saying. Dubstep is not a bad person to actually give the AWP to because when I see Mineski play, it's either gets him up or Dubstep. So just give it to Dubstep. Whatever gets him up doesn't feel, mm -hmm. you know, his best on that AWP, which might be in the situation. But uh, they're still gonna give it to him. Have the confidence in him. And Mineski, I think they're also. Um, fine with Dubstep being on an AK because his lurking skills uh, for this game have been uh, very good, especially with that uh, double headshotter as he comes in from connector onto the members of WASD. Alright, so here we go. Still 5 versus 5, 7, 6 is the score in favor now of Mineski from 5 0 now down to six, 7 six. 6. Exactly. Okay. Alright, so. Look, a triple he sniper the there for Wasdi Gaming. What timing coming in from Berserk here. Yeah. 
Gets him off, looking through the smoke, but Berserk getting his second shot right now, and he is still hungry, looking for more kills, and he will spot out. There's the third oh, kill for Berserk. Trying to go with a second. Gets tagged by Getsimov though. Getsimov versus Berserk. Triple sniper there. Triple up there by WASD Gaming. A very unusual or unorthodox strategy for Not CD, actually. Unorthodox, true, but in the situation where in the smokes as well as the timings were off by Medeski, I would say it is. Mm. Um, they will just get you know, uh, punished by yes. Wasby. You saw Berserk there. He had clear vision onto the planting area because he was not smoked out out of CT spawn. Mm -hmm. So we, he got vision onto a main. He got vision onto Ooh. that uh, onto that uh, planting site. Yeah. So those two shots, uh, aside from being amazing, were pretty easy because Mineski, you know, not properly executing their smokes, got rattled by Berserk and tried to just rush themselves in. And yeah, they got some kills, but... Still not enough, but look at this though. A three-man AWP, like I said, here for the side of WASD. So they're not, uh, you know, joking around right, right so now. One shot, one kill. All right, so I got a confirmation. Berserk, or Berserk, is the American guy. Oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you. To Jiro. All right, up? gets him up here. He's His name might be Sleepyhead, but he's starting to wake up. Yes, he gets needs to wake shot. up. Yeah, gets the shot there in... Uh, in Sniper's Nest, and we do see that Triple the Triple up oh, again they, for Wasp. Yeah, he heard, it, he heard him drop down there. He knows. He sees that guy, but misses the Sniper shot. And now it's Tiz. He's the only man left standing. I believe Dubstep, yeah, heard him down. <laughs> 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 He's going to drop down and yeah. just get uh, pinned by that AWP. But Double now, up now yeah. for Team Mineski. Mineski. Tiz getting that up still. Yeah, knows where Stiz is. Yeah. Oh, nice gets That's him off waking up. He gets two kills, but of course he's still the bottom fragger. Still, Mineski get out of that one a little bit ahead, eight to seven. Right, so the score is eight seven in favor of Mineski, and once again, this is the Mineski Pro Gaming League season in Counter Strike Global Offensive, and this event is brought to you by our official sponsors: GG Network TV, Gigabyte, ViewSonic, Mineski Infinity, and of course, Secret Shop, where you can buy everything. Secret, yes, <laughs> like yeah. waifus. So, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Kia, kia. Onegaishimas. Kimchi. <laughs> Dude, uh, I know, not, I know, I that's know. That's not Japanese. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe I'm Japanese Korean. Okay, okay. Oh, the Spencer kills one with a head, killing Jalopobia. Still 100 HP. Nice, nice use of the smoke there. That actually was a smoke placed by WASD yeah. and Dispenser using it as a one-way smoke with the help from the USP. They don't know where it's going to oh, shoot dude, from. Dispenser, yeah. one tap, one kill. And now it's only going to be Fury Alive. Hold that thought. Mineski getting that um, retake. Well, wow, be, that's wow. the uh, right. Bowie knife, right? Bowie yeah. or Bowie? How do you pronounce it? I mean, whatever. It's it's, 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 it's a fancy knife. It's a fancy knife. Yeah, it's either tomato tomato, you know, Bowie knife or yeah. Bowie. It's fine. It, it's fancy. I know. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Okay. I know. Yeah. A baby boy, Rom. Romin. Big shout out to Ro. What's up, bro? Romir. Romin. Romirez. Romineski. <laughs> What's up, bro? And here we go. Here you go. The the score is nine seven. Rather, I'm sorry. Two point deficit for Mineski right now. What will happen? Mineski sleepy had gets him off, finding someone to kill onto his favorite side, together with his favorite gun. Also, the op. Look at the respect here by Mineski. Yes, um, they did win that one with a four. Four for one. Mm -hmm. But then look at their buys. They only get the two UMPs, three. Two rifles and the one, one scout, scout here. So, yes, they can amount economy with the SMG, uh, you know, um, cash bonus. But then they still have these rifles for the longer ranges. They don't want to play around with WASD because they know that WASD right now are on a whole other level. They are playing out of their minds. Yes, yeah. they are still down on deficit, but WASD's aggression as well as their ingenuity is, you know, battling out against Mineski, but WASD here gonna stack themselves up onto bomb site BB apps and One we'll minute see. left in the clock. Oh, I, li step. I like this. This is yeah. the best way to actually defend from BS. One of the best ways. 
He sees four yeah, people. Yeah, he's baiting out. Him. And let's see what Baby Boy does here. Oh, let's see. Baby Boy kills one, but Berserk killing Baby Boy now. One versus four situation. And let's that's see. And dispenser. Enough. Yeah, you know, just Baby Boy things. That is what I was talking about. Because there's always the sound. Yeah, there's these two people defending outside of B apps. Uh, you drop down and you throw out the Molotov. Okay, it's that puts into the mind of Wazdi. Sure, there's this one guy onto Bandit we can capture, but the that placement of uh, Baby Boy, even though if it's like a easy to know that someone's always there, it's not counterable because you actually can't find a spot mm -hmm. wherein you can see him. Unless you go outside of B apps, and then by that time you might have get flashed, or you know another Molotov goes in, and it's too late for the side of Wazi, which what ha which is what happened for Mineski. So Mineski, you know, using that to their advantage, and very nicely done job from the side of Mineski, but still three points ahead of Wazdi. All right, so seven ten now is a score in favor of Mineski. Now they need to win six more points, six more rounds either for them to get the one point. Onto their series. Yeah, so again, guys, this is just the first map. After this one, it's going to be Cash, and that is the map that Wazdi have picked for themselves. This one uh, was the Mineski map, or is the Mineski map. Really? Yeah, it is. All right. I, you know, thinking, I would think that it would have been Cobblestone, but Wazdi not, uh, might have banned it out against Mineski, so, you know, Sadla. Sa <laughs> sadla. <laughs> Sorry, I always say that when I, when I say the word sad. And now Baby Boy with a double kill, but the Spencer killing Berserk as well. Five versus one now. Stiz. Stizow. Bogart. Stiz. Their last team team name was Bogart. Oh. Alright. So like Bogart the Explorer? Yes, Bogart. I like the skin. Bogart, right? Yeah. It is Bogart oh, though. Oh, Dubstep gets taken down as he has an M4A1S that has the name Clutch King. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the irony. Yeah. Let's see. And Stiz here gonna get caught from Hannibal pushing in from that uh, catwalk area and Mineski successfully retaking the site against Stiz. But Stiz, you know, still in a 5v4, uh, 1v5 situation, making the better of it, getting two frags and then the plant. <laughs> that is something for the side of Wazdi, but Mineski. They are now smiling. <laughs> yeah. And Wazdi looking to be a bit on edge there because, well, Mineski are mounting a comeback, but again, well, Mineski are. Uh, a class S team, of course, Wazdi as well, but I think the exposure for Mineski in Southeast Asian regions yes. is helping them right now. Uh, they've been in all the competitions. Yeah, aside from that, is like when you go in as a as a as a beginner in mm. the international scene, you always get wrecked, right? Yeah. And then uh, because of you being wrecked, you actually have this uh, your mental fortitude. Yes. Uh, we, gets, we, we, gets stronger and stronger. And Mineski, even though they were in that zero five deficit, they just kept their cool and yeah. right now being rewarded, but. Hold that thought. Look at that from Dubstep. Cheeky position. And Wazdi didn't even know what hit him. That's the AK-47, a very loud weapon, but it looked like Dubstep was using it from the shadows with a silencer. All right, now so the score is 12-7 in favor of Mineski. True that. And a big shout out to all the viewers out there. Thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, so you're watching, guys, the Mineski Pro Gaming League Season 8 Counter-Strike Global Offensive Rise from the Rest brought to you by our official sponsors, GG Network TV, Gigabyte, ViewSonic, Mineski Infinity, and, of course, Secret Shop. Where you can buy... Secret things. Secret things. <laughs> All right, back to the ball game now. 12-7 is the great favor of Mineski, and three players from Wasi Gaming are now uh, left. You want to peek? You want to peek? Let's see what will happen. Berserk with the up. Wow, Dispenser kills one. Valencia goes down. I'm still looking at this mid one because Berserk is locked and loaded from this top mid. Gets him off. He sees it. He gets the kill and gets him off. Is starting to rain rampant against Wazdi here. Tariqe Hatrick for the AWP player of Mineski, Captain Hannibal. Who still he is the see. he is the captain of Mineski here. Gonna push. Whoa! Doesn't see it there. Tries to readjust the spray, but Stiz not having the best of times there. Will get taken down by Hannibal. Yeah. All right. Thirteen-seven. Now is a score in favor of Mineski and. Wow, three Galil Johns and Galil Waynes for 
Was D Gaming and Mineski. Let's see. This is just what you would think right now for Was D. They have enough money to buy, but their buys, uh, you know, in terms of its firepower, will I feel is still lackluster. Look at this. Was D before wow. they were being aggressive on their CT side, and now they Mineski is doing the same thing, and they catch out uh, Stiz, but Was D gonna push in. DC's Gets him up, one. misses his first flick there. Oh, misses the shot misses again. The second. Ooh! They line up for him though. Uh, actually, actually he yeah, one. He, he tags it. Yes. Two versus three now. One versus three. Valencia just trying to find someone to go, but baby boy! Give me Dude. that Bowie knife. Yeah. His <laughs> music is very entertaining. Yes, it is. As well as his positioning. Respect. You know, was the gaming. Yeah. These guys. Uh, you know, you have to respect them because they came into the Mineski Pro Gaming League and they're from La Union. And one of the requirements for Mineski, uh, the MPGL, is to be on site you yes, know, exactly. for the gaming rooms. And the passion and dedication of yeah. WASD Gaming is That's very, very real. 5R drive yeah. from La Union. Yeah. So, guys, if you're like. I actually, we actually went to La Union. It took me 8 hours, actually. Holy, what? I Why? Know. I, I don't Were know. Were you like sightseeing? Because if you were sightseeing, then I would like, okay, that's understandable. But Actually, it, it's seven to eight hours. Oh, wait. Look at okay, this dispenser, though. From Coming the from behind. He and punishes kills one. one. Kills Might get a two. second. Goes on, but Valencia killing dispenser with a wall bang. And now Chief versus Far now. Gaming Fury coming from behind. Let's see what will happen. Sleepyhead trying to smoke off that point of the map. And with, with a sniper as well. Kend. Was D break the great defense off gets him of here. Yeah. Guys, if you're just like saying, Oh yeah, it's the Philippines, they don't have a pro scene. But, but if we do have, we're yeah, very This sorry. is what it's all about, guys. Look at the plays coming in. This is how Filipino players do it. Aggressive pushing and you know, just sometimes um trying to psych out your opponents and it looks to be happening for the side of Mineski. Oh, Sniper, or rather the Auto Sniper being used by Captain well, Hannibal. Call him the goes again. down, two people, three <laughs> people right there. And Mineski are now match point against Wazdi Gaming. Eight rounds for Wazdi to get back into this and hopefully get that OT. But Mineski, with such a strong uh, economy, ri they're riding behind on as well as AWPs. Four, actually three? No, it looked like it was four, but then they... Wait, man, they're buying so much. All right, they, they bought five, five ops now for Mineski there you go. again. Just like last week, two weeks ago, rather. I'm sorry. This is what I'm talking about. Let's see what Sniper happens. Sniper galore. Look at this advanced positioning for Mineski. Scout as much as you can. Well, you know what? Snipers are uh, considered as scouts because yeah. they can see from far away. And... <laughs> of well, course. Yeah, obviously. It is a sniper, though. Oh, missed. You know who gets him off has an AWP. Yeah. But does they know? Do they know that the other members of Mineski have AWPs as well? Yeah, oh, he kills one dubstep, kills one as well. Let's see what will happen. Four versus five. What's the gaming fury? Killing dubstep now. Four versus four. Let's see what will happen. Baby boy, have sniper also. The sniping squad of Team Mineski. Let's see. For I am fire. Here it goes. Molotov being put down there by Baby Boy a couple of seconds ago just to stop the push coming in from Gaming Fury. But look at this, the escort of Was D. Just gonna give safe passes for Valencia. But hold that thought as Captain Hannibal, the leader of Mineski, tries to defend. Ooh. Bomb side A with oh, the help from the Spencer. Kills one. And they are winning yeah. with AWPs. I know. Five, four versus three now. 15 7 is the score. Mineski. Nice kill there by Gaming Fury, killing Baby Boy and the Spencer, killing Gaming Fury. A trade off coming from the Spencer kills one, one versus three, and that's it. Mineski wins game one of their series. Wow, that's the firing, the up firing squad by yeah. Mineski. A strategy that is used when you have <laughs> a insane amount of economy yeah. and you have enough balls to actually do it. Exactly. All right. So, <laughs> what a game! What a what? game! A game and congratulations, Team Mineski. Now, so we're back, guys. So we'll just take a very short break, or are we just gonna get an interview first with the Mineski? Oh, 